All right, we're going to calculate the determinant of these two matrices. Uh, so we'll start with the two by two in the first case. So the determinant of A in this case, if we're looking at, we write as negative two, seven, negative one, negative four. Okay. And so it says take A11 one, one and multiply it by A, this is two, two. Okay. So we're going to have negative two times negative four, multiplying here. And then we're going to subtract from it the product of A12 with uh, the product of, or uh, with, uh, with the result of A21. Okay. And so if we carry this out, we have negative uh, two times negative four, which gives us eight. We have a negative one times a positive seven. Uh, and we have a minus sign there, so it's gonna become a plus seven. And then if we add those two terms together, we get the result is 15. Okay, so that's the determinant of that two by two. And now let's compute the determinant of this three by three. Okay, so this is for, I should probably label these different matrices, but um, I think it's clear in the context. Negative one, two, one, uh, four, negative one, one, and three, negative seven, one. So very some very, this is gonna feel very familiar uh, to when we calculated the cross product. Uh, so the cross product is actually a determinant, and we're going to go along with the top row, row one. Um, that's a very common approach to this. Uh, you'll see later that we'll find ways to make it easier. Our choices can significantly impact uh, the amount of calculations that we have. But for now, uh, we're just going to go along the top row. Okay, so I have negative one, and that's going to become this first element. I'm going to multiply it by the submatrix, so deleting this row and this column. And you get that little two by two there. So it's going to be a negative three, one, negative seven, one. Okay, so that's coming from here. And then I'm subtract because I'm in the second position. Uh, it's going to be minus two times the submatrix. So I'm deleting this row. So imagine that that, that row is gone. And then also this, sorry, I said row, I meant column. And then this row. Okay, so you can kind of see that the little submatrix there is four, uh, positive one. It's four and positive one, and then three and one. Okay, and then last but not least, we're going to add to that, and we're going along the top row here. So this is going to be a one times so this row and this column, and so we have this little submatrix right here. Four negative three, three negative seven. Okay, and so now, just like in the first example, we're going to compute each of these smaller determinants uh, with a reminder that we have a number out in front. Unlike the cross product. Uh, we've produced another vector. These are our scalars, uh, so they're no longer a vector format. Okay. All right. So uh, continuing this on, we have three times negative one. We have the negative one out in front from here. Uh, negative three times one is a negative three minus uh, one times negative seven. Okay, so that's that first one minus two. Four times one minus. Uh, one times three, and then we're going to add to that uh, the one from here out in front, uh, four times negative seven minus uh, negative three times, I have to check my own handwriting, it looks like another three, yeah, okay, all right, uh, simplifying things out, negative three, this is a positive, so it's negative three plus four, Negative three plus, or sorry, plus seven. Negative three plus seven makes this a positive four. Times a negative one makes that a minus four. Coming over here, uh, let's see, we have uh, four minus three. So that makes this a positive one times a negative two minus two. And then over here, uh, we have negative 28. This becomes a uh, plus nine. So negative 28 plus nine, negative, so 28 minus nine, uh, that makes that 10, that would be 18, plus one more is 19. So this becomes a negative 19, uh, and that's a positive in front, so minus 19, okay? And so our final result is, our final result is adding these up, uh, negative six plus 19 and negative uh, 25. Yes, yeah, so that determinant is a negative 25, okay? All right, uh, that's, two determinants down. Uh, we'll show a couple more examples with some additional information. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.